Hey, I'm Jamie Beswick. Today, on this rainy day at Woodward Camp, I'm going to teach you how to do no-handers. Well, the basics of the jump is what it is. It's taking both your hands off, but in order to do that, you need to do a few simple things. Whatever you're sort of uh, approaching, whether it be a jump or you're going to hit a quarter pipe, uh, you need to go with enough speed to clear it or to, that you have ample time to, to let go of the bars in the air. On approach, you want to be hitting a good speed, and uh, on takeoff, you start to lean to the front of the bike and also pull it to like your midsection. Like, it, it's almost like a, the, the two things work at once. You pull and you lean forward, and you do like a, um, a trapping motion. It's almost like the one knee, your forward knee, comes out and underneath the bars. You just sort of press real heavy against the front of the bars and then use your upper body to lean forward trapping the handlebars in your lap. Once they're tight in there, you just let go of your handlebars, however far that is, whether you want to just do the feeler, you know, at first, so you're getting used to the motion of the bars staying where they are. The more you do it, and the more you get your bike in towards you and you're leaning forward, you securely clamp those bars in your lap. So once you've got that motion right, you'll have all the confidence to just let go of the bars, stretch your hands out, and make a beautiful no-handed jump you know, the crucial part of the trick is just getting those bars securely in your lap and all your weight forward so you can just hold everything tight and then grab back on, pull it in and ride away. It's one of those good, feel-good tricks. When you do tuck no-handers, it feels cool. I love to do them, so it's a favorite trick of mine. <laughs>